Hi guys and welcome again to a new video for Infinity Kingdom. This is Biaka from Server 49 and I'm here to talk about uh, kill event in our server. It's 49 and uh, here's the continuation of Lords. Um, I'm going to participate in this kill event. As you see, uh, my prosperity is not full. I'm losing my prosperity in the ice of the um, frostborn. You can use uh, this uh, frostborn to uh, decrease your prosperity a little bit. And I'm going also to show you a little hack. Let me uh, make sure that my talent here, yeah, I'm using my war talent and I'm using um, last stand skill. Uh, it sacrifices 10% of my castle's prosperity to increase the damage dealt uh, by my unit by 8%. This skill uh, is so uh, good fighting uh, people stronger than you, but I'm using uh, this skill mainly to decrease my prosperity. Uh, having low prosperity will make me um, uh, taking less attacks uh, to be zered. If I'm facing um, a whale or a mega whale or someone who can zero me easily, I'm not going to lose uh, lots of troops or resources. As you see, I'm having tons of resources. I'm not going to lose uh, any of my um, resources or my training ground uh, due to uh, having um, lots of attacks to be zeroed. Uh, so he can uh, zero me with two attacks instead of seven attacks. And we will prevent having lots of losses. Let's get back to Norheim first. And let's check the chords that uh, our people um, sharing here. So I'm having, uh, I don't think I can kill this person since someone already jumped on him. Let me keep checking for, okay, this is not what I'm searching for. Um, let's keep searching for people. Uh, Heisenberg went to someone else. Let's search for here, defense history, the recent attacks. Um, as you see here, he has um, low prosperity, so I'm not going to, to jump on him. Let's check on uh, another one. This is... Okay, I can... I don't think I can jump for someone who is uh, low attack. Let me clear this first. And let's check the attack record. Lord Thingol is attacking lots of people here. So let's try to enter our castle and uh, get back from our castle to have um, to refresh the map so I can check if there is anyone with the territory. Uh, okay, now we are searching for anyone with the red dot here with no uh, bubble. It's Okay, he has public all over his accounts. Mm, okay, this one, nope. Let's ask the alliance here. Any, any chords? Okay, this is not what we are searching for. I thought it would be... Um, I think we can search for people by attacking castles like this one. I'm sure this is a dead castle since it is uh, our one. And in a sub alliance, but we can uh, go attack it and see if uh, anyone will come for us. And let me show you the mechanics here. Let me uh, just use my teleport. And for. Uh, another relocation in case no one came to us. Mm. Let's keep searching for any red um, castle here. Sorry if we, uh, the video is uh, going extra fast. Okay, this person here. I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to relocate next to him. Before I start my rage. Because if I uh, started attacking this uh, person, I'm going to be in a 10-minute uh, rage. 
um, I'm having for defense here uh, body of steel it reduces the damage taken by allied units uh, by 10% and uh, this another uh, energy burst increases the energy region speed of immortals by 10% when fighting an enemy unit with tactics reduces the enemy's region speed by 10% so it gives you um, the ability to have uh, an energy region while not uh, giving him uh, the same energy region but even uh, more better by decreasing his energy region by 10% so decreasing his energy region 10% and increasing my energy region by 10% so it is a 20% energy region uh, gap between us so uh, as example if I'm having uh, an immortal with 100 uh, energy region it will be 110 and if he has uh, uh, the same immortal with 100 uh, energy region he will be uh, 90 energy region so his immortal will be having 90 energy region while my uh, own immortal will having 110 so it's um, uh, a 20 uh, energy region uh, gap uh, this uh, enemy is in the first pawn so I can check uh, I can to teleport for him since I'm going to attack in Urheim and I'll not uh, check him for the attack uh, I showed you lots of uh, skills I'm going to use this skill first last stand by sacrificing 10% of my prosperity as you see here I'm having 35 uh, K 35,000 uh, prosperity I'm going to attack with my first two marshes to uh, lower my prosperity as you see my prosperity went 10k and he has also uh, a garrison on I'm so lucky and let's attack with two more attacks here with uh, my two main marshes I don't have this marsh having refill okay we are all fine to go no one uh, teleported for us so nobody noticed uh, me I used uh, my uh, last stand here I used all the five stacks and as you see I lost 15 uh, K um, prosperity sorry it is more than 15 K since I uh, lost I think uh, five multiplied by does it account to the current prosperity I was having 35 so I lost 25 uh, K prosperity I'm going to finish this um, castle here mm, okay all good we are having tons of food and lots of honor um, this is a castle of course I'm going to scout it let me keep scouting um, my rally okay never mind let's support it and let's search for another uh, red dot here and there we don't have any uh, nearby enemies and nobody uh, came for us he is having a shield here um, in our server there is a rule not to hit uh, tiles uh, only hitting castles so um, our server kind of friendly and having some rules to uh, protect uh, players who, is, who are not uh, spending and not uh, giving much time to game since uh, most of people be uh, busy and uh, can't play the game as much as uh, normal people um, or addicted people uh, spend time in game you can check this person he is having a shield um, let's keep searching for a wider range there is no more enemies mm, this even person is so further away I can spend this uh, EV on someone who is 100 kilometer okay so no one in my area here let's hope the person that we are reaching having um, some resources or garrison at least he didn't have anything even though this castle doesn't have anything uh, the continuation of lords I played and got some decent honor 
I'm ranking uh, 34 right now. I can get uh, rank uh, 20 easily, but I'm not going to aim for rank. Since I'm only uh, aiming to get uh, tons of resources, as you see here, my resources uh, are going to be maxed soon. And going to get some honor from my rank honor. As you see, my resources almost uh, full. And um, I don't, I can't uh, speed up the um, the tech or these um, upgrades right now. I'm not going to spend any uh, speed ups to uh, spend my gems. Sorry, my uh, spend my resource. So I'm only in gaining uh, honor. Okay, we had he has some. Okay, he doesn't have garrison on. Anyway, I hope I explained anything, everything about defense for the attack. I, uh, I mainly focused about um, last stand uh, for this uh, knife through uh, butter. What I'm using here is increasing the physical attack for all immortals by 10%. And also um, an ambush that sneak attack before the battle starts deals damage equal to 7% uh, and uh, 0.5 of your max HP to a random enemy immortal in the back row. So if you are facing, um, if you are facing water or fire marshes, uh, there is a chance to um, deal this damage on uh, Embisu or Merlin. Also, if you are facing Heliobatra um, in uh, Earth Marsh, you can, uh, there is an uh, option to uh, attack it before the match starts, so you can uh, take less damage from them. When attacking enemy territory, you no longer need to destroy the city walls to achieve victory. This uh, win by surprise is, is so important uh, facing um, stronger opponents than me. And I'm going to put my garrison on and in this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any co comments about how to play a kill event, don't hesitate to uh, ask me right in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.